Sophisticated investors use mean variance analysis to form portfolios. This approach characterizes assets and portfolios by their expected returns and risk, usually expressed as standard deviation. The mean variance efficient frontier comprises portfolios which offer the highest expected returns for varying levels of standard deviation. Those portfolios that lie beneath the efficient frontier are inefficient. The optimal portfolio depends on an investor's risk tolerance. Risk-averse investors prefer portfolios to the left along the efficient frontier. Investors who are more aggressive prefer portfolios further to the right along the efficient frontier. Many investors care about relative performance as well as absolute performance. Risk within this context is defined as tracking error, which measures the volatility of relative returns. We can extend our two-dimensional graph to include a third dimension for tracking error. Now we can locate each asset according to its expected return, standard deviation and tracking error. We can also locate the mean variance efficient frontier according to the tracking error of the portfolios it includes. The benchmark, of course, has no tracking error. We can trace a second efficient frontier called the mean tracking error efficient frontier. It extends from the blue benchmark and meets the mean variance efficient frontier at the location of the highest expected return portfolio, which is shown in red. The third boundary of the efficient surface comprises combinations of the minimum risk mean variance portfolio shown in green and the blue benchmark. The efficient surface lies within these three boundaries. We can slice the efficient surface through an array of portfolios that have the same expected return but different combinations of standard deviation and tracking error. We can also identify portfolios that have the same standard deviation but different combinations of expected return and tracking error. The same is true for tracking error. We can slice the efficient surface through an array of portfolios with the same tracking error but different combinations of expected return and standard deviation. Just as inefficient mean variance portfolios lie beneath the efficient frontier, there exist portfolios beneath the efficient surface that are inefficient in three dimensions. For example, Portfolios formed by mean variance optimization, but subject to allocation constraints, will typically lie beneath the efficient surface. Mean variance tracking error optimization will almost always produce portfolios that are superior to constrained mean variance optimization. Many investors care about both absolute performance and performance relative to a benchmark. In some cases, the benchmark serves as a performance standard. In other cases, it represents liabilities, such as the present value of benefit payments or spending obligations. For investors faced with the dual challenge of achieving absolute and relative objectives, our advanced risk measurement technology offers a superior solution.